Just got this Kogo M2 Pro scooter. Um, I'm gonna unbox it and give my first impressions. This is my first electric scooter. I've never had one before. I wanna try it out. All right, so there's actually a second box. So this scooter costs around $600 in Canada. You can probably get it for a little bit less, but this is when I paid for it. And I guess I think this would be a decent alternative to the M365 since you can't really easily get that in Canada. Um, this one also has suspension, which I hope will make the ride a little bit more comfortable. So when you, when you first open the box, there's a bunch of styrofoam, which is nice. And you got a toolkit, and I'm guessing that's a charger. In the toolkit, you get a inflator valve and st extender, a screwdriver, two hex keys, two screws for the handlebar. All right, and scooter itself right here. The rest is just foam. to attach the handlebar to the rest of the scooter. First, you have to take off this sticker. Um, this sticker covers the plug that goes into here. Spring, the spring you can pull out. So I'm gonna start doing that right now. I wasn't able to do that on camera one hand, but you see the connectors are connected and just gotta up, line up the holes and put the screws in and that should be done. The screws are in and I think it's done. Um, I was gonna put some air in the tires, but these seem to be pretty good, but I'll double check that in case. Um, there's the kickstand, the bell. Doesn't sound like the best bell ever, but it worked. The brakes might need some adjustment. The, I can press them all the way down to the grips, so um, I don't think they're fully adjusted yet, so I'll do that later. So I just realized that the spring that is used to help pull the cable out, I think I, I should have removed that since when I move around, you hear it rattling. So even move the cable away. The spring inside is still rattling. I took the spring out and there's still a rattle. So I looked a little bit deeper and I think there's the rattling is coming from somewhere in this handlebar. So it could be here or the, uh, the display area. I think I found the source of the rattle. This Allen bolt on the side is all loose. So I'm gonna try tightening it up and see if that fixes it. All right, so that bolt's tight now, and the only rattle you hear now is from that spring. But I don't wanna move the spring anymore since that spring is what allows you to easily grab the cable from the scooter to handlebar. And again, if I ever have to remove it and, and, this, and the cable falls down, it'd be it's such a hard time to remove it again. So that small rattle is way better than before, but. I'm, I'm really not sure where that bolt is connected to. Screen. Is there already some dirt and things on the side? Turn it on, you hold it for one second, the power one. So you see speed, that's the level, and that's the battery bars. I don't know how many, I'm, I don't know how many bars it should be. I'm guessing there's three, five bars and there's only three right now. I'm not sure. Uh, so change the, Power level, so right now we're one, you double click the power. Level two, level three, and back to level one. Turn on the light, you press it once, light, light turns on. Press it again, light turns off. The scooter also has the suspension mentioned front and rear. I don't know how well it works, but I'll try jumping on it and see if it out. I mean, 
I, I feel it moving. I don't know how well that worked in practice. We'll see. So I'm trying to pump up the tires and when I first checked it, the pressure was fairly low, but the issue with the included extender, if you don't hold it just the right angle, it starts leaking air out. So kind of annoying to use. Also when removing the um, inflator extender, a lot of air leaks so it's kind of hard to get a perfect pressure. I pumped it up a little higher so when I took off it released some air and um, I'm just gonna guess this is around the pressure I wanted it to be at. So luckily in the back you don't need to use the extender so it's much easier to get the right pressure. First impressions before riding, it seems decent, not perfect. Where people had issues with it cracking because there's a giant hole for the internal cable routing. So we'll see how that holds up. Um, yeah, I guess next video, I'll be riding it and giving my first ride impressions.